Three wins in those six games have come over Detroit and two over Milwaukee, while the Lakers at 18 and 17, and they come off a poor performance at a loss at Portland last night. So Snow ties the game. Minute 35. Remaining of the fourth. And with the game on the line, Marv, you see LeBron James covering Kobe. And Bryant able to hit over James using the screen. So the Lakers now lead 95 to 93. The ball in the hands of James. He's double teamed. Ilgowskis with five on the shot clock. Sotronis Ilgowskis with the drive to tie it at 95. And that ties a season high. He has 29. Well, he established himself down low early. And when, once you do that, once you see that ball go through the hoop on those easy ones, a lot easier to knock down some perimeter shots and put in some runners, too. Shot clock. Down to seven. Bryant. Yes. So Kobe Bryant. For most of the second half, it's a clutch jumper to give the Lakers a two-point lead. They're on their feet here at Staples. Gooden battling and scores. What a move by Gooden going at Brown, and the game is tied. Just trying to draw a foul. I think he wanted two free throws, somehow got it to go, but now it's Kobe time. This is why he's so special, Marv. A tough evening all night, but he can still get it going when it counts. Six-second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Bryant putting moves on James. Here's Bryant. Yes! He had a foot on the line. It's a two-point shot. Cavaliers hold for time seconds remaining in this fourth quarter the Lakers 99 the Cavaliers 97 and Steve Kobe Bryant has hit his last three shots the ultimate confidence Marv only Kobe Bryant I think in this game in this league has the ability to overcome a tough night and hit three huge clutch jumpers down the stretch 6 10 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter Kobe Bryant goes one for 11 obviously bothered by the injured wrist and then down the stretch it's three in a row intestinal fortitude mental toughness you can call it whatever you want but it's just ultimate confidence and I don't know if anybody has the belief in himself in the NBA since Michael Jordan like Kobe Bryant does and now if you're Cleveland Got to get the ball to LeBron, don't you? Both teams in the penalty. I would think get the ball to James, get something going towards the rim, but Kobe Bryant will be guarding him, and he relishes this defensive challenge. You know that. Kobe hitting all three shots the last minute and a half, and each bucket broke a tie to give the Lakers the lead. They now lead it 99-97. Cleveland with shooters all over the floor. Mark Damon Jones is back in. Luke Jackson, Daniel Marshall. Well, Gauskas goes to the bench, so undoubtedly Cleveland will spread the floor for LeBron and try to either get something going towards the hoop or have him find a shooter. Cavaliers have a full timeout out of 20 remaining. Damon Jones off the inbound. Here's James. James twisting his way, and he's with a foul with five and two tenth seconds to go. LeBron James off the double team, fouled by Bryant. That's four on Bryant. I love the call, Marv. Rather than have James go at Kobe from the perimeter, use that strength. Put him in the block where he has an advantage over Bryant, and that forces the help coming from Odom. And now LeBron with two huge free throws. Only three of seven at the line, a 76% free throw shooter. And he brings the Cavaliers within one now the lakers also have a full timeout and a 20 remaining and phil jackson doing some shuffling chris mim kwame brown checking in they want the big men on the on the line if james should miss this free throw lakers want that rebound and if you're mike brown you've got to get ilgowskis back in the ball game as 
He does here. Phil Jackson in this situation has been known to eschew the timeouts. Well, I know how much yes. you like the, the, the word eschew, but he'll yes. frequently let his players take control of the game and neglect to call the timeout, let Kobe go. But I think in this case, you got to call it. Five and two ten seconds left. James missed the second, rebounded by Gooden, and the Cavaliers take a timeout. Four and two ten seconds to go, and it comes down to the Cavaliers having a chance now to win it. They're down by one. They certainly would have preferred LeBron James tying the game on that with that free throw, but now they have a chance to pull it out. How about the play of Drew Gooden? He's been terrific the last couple of weeks. 11 boards, one of the best offensive rebounders in the game, and a tough break for the Lakers. A long rebound off that missed free throw. Gooden uses his quickness to chase it down. Your Cleveland now go right back to LeBron, don't you? And Gooden has had quite a run recently. 17 rebounds uh, the other night against Milwaukee. Solid game here tonight. It has not only been LeBron James. It's been a combination of Zydrunas Ilgowskis tied a season high with 29. Eric Snow doing it at both ends. And Drew Gooden. How about Luke Jackson, too? Three big three-pointers really making his mark in a big game for the first time as a, an NBA player. You've got to figure he'll be back out onto the floor. And... Wouldn't, wouldn't shock me to see Cleveland go right back to James in the post. 4.2 seconds is plenty of time for him to make a move. And with the Lakers having to help down there defensively, that could free up a perimeter shooter for Cleveland. LeBron with 28 points. Kobe with 27. He's hit three of three the last minute and a half. And Lamar Odom, 20 points. 13 from the field, 10 rebounds, 9 assists, so 1 assist shy of a triple-double. Of course, Cleveland now with one 20-second timeout left, so if they can't get the ball inbounds, they can still call one and draw something else up. But we'll see what Mike Brown comes up with here. Luke Jackson, Danielle Marshall, Sadruna Stilgauskas, LeBron James, and Eric Snow on the floor for the Cavaliers. Snow will throw it in, and Phil Jackson going with, with Devin George defending on the inbound. Looking to cause trouble for Snow, who gets it in. Here's James putting the move on Bryant to the fadeaway. Not able to hit up the buzzer. The Lakers come away with a one-point victory. The Lakers 99. 